What's up guys welcome back to my youtube channel. In today's video I'm going to show you how to play FIFA 22 with a playstation 4 controller with both a wired and wireless connection. Hit the subscribe button below and turn on notifications to see more tutorials on my channel. Without wasting any more time let's get right into it. Alright so the first thing you have to do is download the file in the description down below. After your download is complete locate your file and extract the files to the desktop. Copy the file that has been extracted. Then go to FIFA 22 shortcut. Right click, open file location. Then go ahead and paste your files here. Right click on the file, then run as administrator. Then create the DLL file. So right now if you're going to use your controller via USB cable, go ahead and connect it. Then uncheck this box if you're not connected to the internet. But if you have internet connection you can leave it checked. Then click on next. Click on finish. Click ok. So right now go down to the bottom. Then click on auto, click on yes. Now you have to configure your gamepad such that the buttons are well placed. So to configure your gamepad, all you have to do is uh, click on the button you want to set. Then hit record. You have to do this for all the buttons that have been misconfigured. So after configuring all your buttons, go ahead and click on save. Then close this. So now come to the X input file, right click and hit rename, change this 3 to 4. Then press enter and save. So now you should be able to use your controller in FIFA 22 via USB cable. So now if you want to connect your gamepad via Bluetooth, all you have to do is follow the same steps, copy this file, then paste it in FIFA 22, the directory. So to connect your gamepad via Bluetooth, go ahead and hold down the share button and PlayStation button until this light bar starts flashing. So come to your Bluetooth, right click and go to settings, add a Bluetooth device. will come in as wireless controller, so connect that and click on done. After you've done that, go ahead and close this, right click on the file, then run as administrator. Create the DLL file. You can leave this checked if you're on the internet or you can uncheck this if you're offline. Hit next. Click on finish. Come to the bottom part, click on auto, click on yes. So once again you have to configure all the buttons that have been misconfigured by hitting the record button. After all your buttons have been configured properly, go ahead and hit save. Then close this. So locate this X input 1-3 DLL file, right click and hit rename, change the 3 to 4. Then close this. So right now you should be able to play FIFA 22 with your PlayStation 4 controller wirelessly. 